I'm very happy today because I just got a new helmet. A helmet that is mostly intended for racing. I will use it next year. It's made by HGC and it's the replica of the Americas, the Rafa 1 model, the latest of the line. It's a premiere for me because it was launched last uh, fall at EGMA and uh, I didn't got to see it only on the internet in photos. Right now it's in front of me. I'm going to unbox it with you guys today and check the features out. The brand is the biggest manufacturer in the world. They build a lots and lots of helmet. They have those beautiful designs with Marvel, uh, Joker, Batman, uh, Venom and lots of stuff, even with minions. But right now this one is just like the one that uh, you can find on, in MotoGP. I know that Carl Crutchlow and uh, Paul Espargaro, Joe Roberts, Jonas Folger, they are riders that use HGC and this is a premium helmet right now. It got lots of future, lots of improvements. It's made out of a new material which is called PIM. And I'm starting to unbox it. What do we have over here? I think this is the pin lock. Yes, this is the pin. No, oh, I'm wrong. This is the pin lock and this is uh, the peel offs that you can fit on your visor. If you've got some dirt on it, you can just strap it off, remove it and your helmet will be clean again. What else? What else do we have here? Let's see. I think this is another visor. Oh. oh, no, it's not a visor. It's a part from the helmet. I think this is the aero spoiler. Nice, it looks very good. Let's check out the helmet because this is the most important part. We have the helmet over here. Bam, let me remove this part. Check it out, it looks so great. The colors are so beautiful. It says over here, Red Bull Grand Prix of the Americas. Dave Designs, HDC, FIM homologated helmet, Rafa 1. This is so beautiful, it has a lot, a lot of beautiful colors. Even the Red Bull team over here, I like it a lot. It looks very, very nice. And it's so much different from the previous model, the previous racing model that HGC uh, wanted to uh, race with. I like a lot. So it says the weight over here, uh, it's tube certified. And uh, yeah, I want to put it on my head. Am I allowed? Let's fit it on the head first because I'm so eager to do that. Man, it's a perfect fitment right now. I like it. I like it a lot. This helmet got a lot into the racing area because now, now you have this big spoiler over here. You got lots and lots of vents that you can use in front. They're like one, two, three, four, five vents that you can activate and this is the area where the air goes out. It's nicely made. The interior is uh, antibacterial with uh, a silver coating, which is supposed to keep your uh, interior as clean as possible. It's easy to remove. The chin straps are removable for any incident. You just pull them and they come off. You have a chin guard, which is a lot smaller right now because when you go racing, you get a lot of uh, air, a lot of breathing. You are struggling over there with the bike and you need a smaller chin guard because you need to get as much fresh air as you can. And uh, if possible, not to get too much fog especially on my glasses because I wear glasses and even though I have a pin lock, my glasses will get foggy every time I do that. What else? You have this nose guard over here which deflects the air and uh, this is a nice feature. You can lock the visor on for racing purpose. This is a very good feature. Even the previous model had a small button over here, but I like uh, I like this one better because it's just on the left side. And I'm used to that from other big manufacturers that I've used before like RI and Schubert. What else? Oh, let's see how easy it is to remove the visor. I see that you have a uh, user screwdriver. Oh, 
Oh, no, you don't have to use a screwdriver. Right now, you just remove this bolt and the visor comes off. This is a nice feature. They look metal, they're not plastic like on the enduro bikes. This is a cool thing to have. Let's see how fast I can do it. And now the visor should come off. And this was it. It's actually very easy to remove it. It's better than any other uh, Japanese helmet that I've tested because uh, the plastic elements that you had to push before uh, can get some wear and even be damaged while removing the helmet. So right now we just bolt on the visor like this. Then it should be very easy to do it in an instance. I don't think it's easy to do it with your gloves, but you will remove your gloves every time you do this. I like it. Uh, I think the, the, the visor is a bit uh, taller than the previous model, which is an important aspect because I was struggling a lot while sitting on the bike uh, in the racing position. I needed some more view uh, space above my, uh, above my uh, glasses. And this was uh, kind of a lack of uh, development when it came to the uh, previous model. And this aero spoiler should fit somewhere around here. Bam! Check out this looks. Man, this is so beautiful. I like it a lot. What do you think, guys? The Red Bull Grand Prix of the America Rafa 1 helmet that I'll be wearing this year looks superb. It's very beautiful finished. And I think you have to also to remove some ports over here because uh, it's not sitting very well and uh, it's easy to, de de to take it off and I think I need to peel off this part, this red part in order to fit it as properly as possible to get a snug fit and these are like uh, adhesive bands over here that will stay on the helmet. So what else? I'll need to fit the pin lock that I have over here and this straps that will go above my visor and uh, I will have peel offs which is a very cool thing to have when it comes to racing because I get a lot of flies on my visor uh, often when I go on track. What's so important for me it's that I need to fit my glasses inside every time I use the helmet. So let's do another test and also fit the glasses because I want to see how easy it is for me to fit my glasses. Oh, they go on very easy. I like it. it it's, it's very easy to do it. Very easy to pull them off. So I think the guys at HGC used to have this feature on the previous helmet. They made the material a lot uh, uh, dense over here and they, they made it easier to slide for the glasses for the guys that use glasses just like me also the interior is very easy to remove and wash you should do it only with proper uh, elements that uh, proper products that are uh, mainly intended for uh, doing this spot this is a double d ring over here that i like a lot you also get this logo with film homologated uh, and measure you also have a QR code, but I don't want to read it. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice. The interior feels very nice. Uh, it has a nice finish. You get lots, lots of vents that I can see inside. You guess also this area over here that will help vent your head easier, remove all the sweat that you can uh, bring on while racing. And most important for me, it's a proper. Uh, racing helmet which offers great protection it's studied in the, uh, the tunnel the wind tunnel which is a very important factor when it comes to getting your head while being tucked getting your head about the windshield and also the protection that it can give you while having a crash on track yes it's a new material it's pim it's a premium uh, integrated matrix it's a combination between carbon fiber and glass fiber that every manufacturer had to adopt lately lots of carbon fiber in this area of helmets the weight it's uh, 1.5 kilograms and uh, one uh, point 
close to 1.7 kilograms with all the accessories on. With the new CE homologation, the new helmets need to be a bit more heavier, but this is not a huge difference because they usually they go like 1.4 kilograms to 1.5 so this is a light helmet it's a racing design and uh, yeah when you think about adding this spoiler and adding everything on it it will grow up to 1.6 kilograms I like it a lot it even says over here this is the first HGC helmet that comes with FIM racing homologation and I know that these guys are very serious when it comes to safety I think this should be it I hope you like it. This is the new Red Bull Grand Prix of the Americas. I got to put my hands on it. It will be my uh, racing helmet this season. Can't wait to come up with a new um, video in which I will tell you how good it feels, how easy it is to, to wash it and uh, after all tell you more about uh, my experiences with it. Thank you for watching. This is the new Rafa 1. Can't wait to test it. See you guys.